Welcome back to Middle Earth. And this time, the great men of the East have arrived. No, I'm not talking about the Easterlings. I'm talking about, it's like, what, Southern East or something? Harad! <laughs> yeah. And here's Jackie Fish. She's hey, joining me. Hey, well. how's it going? I'm, I'm here <laughs> ready to continue on my legacy of destroying Apollo at Rise of Mordor. So. Yes, I wouldn't have it anyway. I love when you destroy me. Yeah, hell yes. My my favorite pastime. And we're back here taking a look at the brand new update that is coming, I believe, this weekend with a brand new Harad roster. And my god, they look pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, they look really good. It's um, it's cool to see Harad so fleshed out because they are really are a really cool faction. They've got, you know, kind of the, uh, it's almost like a tribal Eastern thing going on. They've got really cool, uh, yeah, like the the Muhad Beastmen type units. The the face paint is just really cool. Yeah, and by the looks really of it, they good. also have like their own custom like bodies as well. I assume they aren't default Attila men either, so. They've gone in really hard. And honestly, like, the past, what, three updates have just been incredible for Rise of Mordor. We've got a complete Rohan roster, then, no, the Dwarfs first, a complete Dwarven roster, then Rohan, now Harad. They are they are smashing through these factions, and uh, super exciting. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy how fast, they're, not only how fast they're pumping out these updates, but the quality of these updates have just been fantastic. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of dive in and look at these units really fast, and then we can just show them in action in battle. Yeah, let's do so, it. So, all right, where, so do, where do you want to start? Uh, I'll start on the front line here with the infantry. We'll go left or right. Um, uh, so this one, oh, I, I, you know how to pronounce this one, right? You were telling me all about this unit. What one? The Haradrin swordsman. Yeah, oh, that's, no, that's no, easy. <laughs> no, yeah. No. <laughs> No, the squid-looking guys. The squid-looking guys? Where they are you? Look, they oh, almost the, look like... The yeah. heavily armored guys. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. black Numenorians. Yeah. That's not... No. Yeah. Are they Are they black Numenorians? Yeah, they're from Mumba or somewhere, right? I'm pretty I, sure. I mean, I was just going to say, it looks like they're Gondor LARPers or something. Yeah, well, they're from Numenor oh, before it sunk, right? Because Numenor sent loads of tra uh, loads of colonization stuff to Middle-earth, and, and obviously it sunk, and then these are the evil uh, men that remain. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure we'll get uh, some lore Duna masters. Kar Hori? Yeah, per perfect, Corey? perfect uh, yes, Numenorian. Yes, uh, well, you know, I am an expert with Tolkien <laughs> dialect and history i am flu like fluent in numenorean so yes you know. wow wow that's i'm fluent elvish perfect uh, right next to him <laughs> moving on we got some serpent warriors so these guys look really cool i love i just love the you know it's cool to see like uh third age units in in rise of mordor because you get yeah. to see it in much greater detail it's very cool uh, next to them, I got some Haradrim glaives. So they uh, got some big glaives there. Got the got the the classic, um, you know, Harad uniform, almost like ninja like. Yeah, nice, uniform. very nice. And For then, sure. of course, we have we have the Muhad clubmen. So they got some clubs. You want to look at the the unit next to them? Uh, yeah, then we've got uh, some more of the uh, some more of the Numenorians, the uh, usurpers. Oh, yeah. They're getting very awesome, indeed. Because I believe they're like split up into like three clans or something along them lines. You obviously have the the clubmen, tribesmen, then like the more heavily armored Numenorian style troops, and then the uh, the Harad infantry that we see uh, more oh, yeah. more so from the movies and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, that's them. And obviously, we got the Corsairs to the right hand side. They'll obviously be mounting boats when they make their way into Rise of Mordor. And then we just have kind of a, a assortment of Haradrin swordsmen. Uh, you can see the different variants here as uh, uh, well. Other than some more are heavily armored. Uh, behind that, we've got some awesome looking archers as well. Uh, the lowest tiers, the desert bowmen. Just lightly yeah. armored. All you need is a bow. Uh, and then also to the right of them, we have some cavalry as well. Again, just some Haradrin lancers. Nice shock cavalry there. Um, and then, yeah. Ooh, we got some camels. Camel riders. Hell yeah. And then obviously Hell we've got yeah. the uh, the elephants back there as well. The baby, elephants? The baby Excuse mimico. me. 
Excuse me. Yeah, th no, there's no elephants in this universe. Well, right? these are it's elephants. <laughs> no, it's it's Moomakill, okay? So the, these are these are like fancy dress Moomakill. They've pretended to yeah. be them yeah. for this uh, for Halloween. Uh, but no, for yeah. real, the uh, actual Moomakill are on their way. They're just they don't have the animators to to sp uh, spend to making Moomakill act like Moomakill because they were working on getting the trolls done. So for now, you know, they, they felt like they can add in Haradrim without these bad boys. So they've kind of given us baby Moomakill that have a very cute unit card as well. Yes, they do. I was just going to mention that. It's adorable. So yeah, it's kind of sick that they're sending baby creatures <laughs> into war, but... Hey, um, they need the soldiers. So cool. Do you want to just dive in and you can kind of like skim yeah, off the rest of the units? Uh, whilst yeah, we... yeah. I mean, that was most of it. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, well, by the way, what are you doing with this cab over here? What is this? Over where? There's Knights of the Mark over here. What? I mean, oh, yeah. So trying to sneak up on me? Well, we had to see your army. God damn. Why are you trying to, oh, why okay, are you trying to call me out? Why are you raw dogging me? For, <laughs> because for you always, you I, always well, do I need, this, Jackie. I need, but you always do I this. I needed to see your army so we could make the God damn video apollo oh, it's no it's gonna be like oh i gotta beat apollo oh in front of his God. fans it's childish this is why we don't record no, anymore see, this is, this is why we you. don't record i hate you oh, God. just don't talk right. to me for the rest of the video oh, yeah so, soldiers moving forward uh, i didn't think we really looked at my army much but yeah i'm just playing rohan classic units front line of heavy infantry lots of cavalry oh, yeah. spearmen uh, and some a few bowmen here and there but obviously my main focus is uh is gonna be the cavalry and we also have bayadin as well uh, with his own cool looking custom armor. Marching. Would you say would you say Theoden is the greatest Rohirrim king? Uh, well, I'm not very well versed on on oh, Rohirrim thought, kings. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a <laughs> fan. Could, could could you give me a, a little breakdown on what the other kings did? Well, I, I, well, I know. you know, they they fought in um uh, you know. Yeah. They they rode they, they, on horses oh, and stuff. Nice. Cool. So that's the criteria we're going for. <laughs> yeah. They fought and rode on horses. Well, yeah. I mean, Theoden always felt like he wasn't worthy of the other kings, you know. Mm. But then he redeems himself at the end. Well, yeah. I mean, riding in, you know, certain death yeah. must must earn him some some credit, yeah. right? To charge yeah. against armies of you know hundreds of thousands of orcs. That's true. That's true. Pretty epic. I imagine there wasn't a war on uh, that scale um, since the since the creation. Probably, yeah. Since Melkor. Mm -hmm. You know. Damn, let me stick my uh, cavalry on skirmish mode quickly so you can just chase me for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. That would be epic. <laughs> yeah, that would be epic. Here we go. <laughs> for Harad! Nice. Now the cavalry can just run away. I haven't killed a single camel yet. Yeah, Seriously. these camels are tough, man. They're a different breed, you know? It's too much, man. Unfair advantage that you have. Oh, man, look at this. This actually looks pretty cool in the center here. The army's kind of starting Colliding to... Colliding further forward. Yeah, the Haradrim yeah. look amazing. I can't wait to, like, once... Like, this just makes me happy seeing the units getting, like, this much love because, you know, eventually these are going to be ported into the campaign, but it's, you know, in the works, and it's going to be so amazing having all these super fleshed out factions yeah it's gonna be cool i mean it's i mean because it's a more you know recent game more modern game they have the ability to do this i just wish they had more campaign tools yeah well um, i mean they've had to go in and create a lot of their own uh which is geez, how they've been able crazy. to do uh to edit the campaign map and, and do a lot of that stuff they, you just oh so they are Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, they've been doing that for a while now. Obviously, it's a very lengthy progress. But yeah, they you can go over to their, um, over to their, uh, YouTube channel. They have a Rise Model YouTube channel, and on there they show them working on the campaign. It's like they break it down into like multiple things. Like they have like the visual campaign map that they need to make, and then there's like the AI came campaign map, so the AI knows what's what. Uh, and then that's cool. Then they have like another variant. It's like a free layer campaign map, and they have their own tools that they're working on uh, for all that's, of that. That's crazy. I mean, I guess they have to do something like that, you know, to... That's insane. Because I honestly thought that we're never going to have a campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there will be one. It's just, you know, when, you know, it's more sober. Because, yeah. yeah, I mean, they've, you know, they've been pumping out these models and stuff. You know, every, every couple months, we're getting, like, a, a complete faction, which is 
suit the dope. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to just have to see, you know, how long it's how long it's gonna be. Hopefully, you know, end of next year maybe we'll get something pretty juicy. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it'd be awesome. And obviously it comes in with all the, the rest of the stuff, you know, then you, all of a sudden you have to start balancing a campaign and doing stuff like that, which obviously takes a lot of time. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, it's crazy to think that this mod is like four years old. Yeah, for sure. I remember we recorded one of our, our yes. first IRL videos. In uh, person. Literally. In person. Which was yeah. amazing. I came to uh, America and me and, me and Trent made yeah. sweet love. And uh, yeah, as we... in making videos. Come on, Jackie. Yeah, you get a reputation here. <laughs> a reputation, but you literally said in your Thrones of Britannia video that we were a we were a couple. <laughs> oh, yeah, so but... don't you dare. I felt so bad because some people. So yeah. So basically, I, I made a joke that we were we were a couple, and some people were very sweet about it and like supported. Like I was like, oh man, it's a joke. Like. But your, your kind words do mean a lot, you know. <laughs> it was super funny. Yeah. What's that? All right. One? You're just shooting me to death, so. Yeah, my front line is, is struggling a little bit. God damn, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. My cavalry just doing so good. Oh, my God. Are they? I haven't actually played a Total War battle in ages. Normally, I've just been doing replays, so it's weird to actually be diving in and uh, and actually wow. playing a battle. How dare you defeat my camels? <laughs> the Rohirrim, man. They're, they're horses are trained not to be scared of camels, so I take away your one advantage. Wow. Fed, Fedin's in there as well, running, running down some people. My gun sent Fairden up against the Oh, Theoden! My Muma kills in a cab battle. Yeah. Probably don't work. That's exactly what you want to do with them, so. Yeah. Oh, it's my, uh, my dudes that start doing work. Yeah, I mean, I've got the, the cavalry I have. Now, this is classic Pelendor Fields here. Knights of the Mark up against the uh, baby Muma kill. That's what you want to see. So cool. It's just cool to see the uh, world of Middle Earth come to life. Yeah, and obviously know. they're adding in custom maps all the time. I think also they said in the mm -hmm. next yeah. update they're adding in a couple more maps, which are uh, Moria. There's going to be three different Moria maps. Really? Uh, wow. You'll have like the West Gate, the East Gate, and then the, the Bridge of Chasm Doom, I, I think. Which will be uh, which will be dope, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Close up to the front line. Watch some of these soldiers fighting in the shade. Good place to fight. Muhad Clubman. Man, you've just. Got me surrounded here. Oh, it's because I'm such a pro player. You are very good. You're a very good player. <laughs> My infantry are being smacked by. I think being in shield ball helps a bit. I have that advantage. My archers are completely out of ammunition, though. Fairdin's at 69, uh, 69 men left in his unit just the way oh, he likes nice. it. Oh, nice. Wow. Pretty uh, perfect, if you ask me. Got the uh, Corsair Marines taking on the Guards of the Golden Golden Hall. This seems like a fair fight. Oh yeah. Also, that's something we should definitely mention as well. Is like this wasn't a Apollo brought one like one of everything basically. So it's not like he brought a balanced yeah. army. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show off the units. I, I mean, I know people in the comments are gonna be like, Apollo, you suck. <laughs> you know, but it's like, I just want to see Harad in action. Yeah, you gotta show off. This is a new update video, right? So you gotta show off. Yeah. What what you're bringing? You show off these cool units. Come on. I just want to see him killing people. No, no, no. But yeah, this front line is pretty cool. But 
I've got my spear guard ready to, to back me up as well. Where's Thaden? I was gonna, yeah, there he is. I'm gonna throw Thaden against the Muma kill, just like, uh, just like Pelinor Fields. Oh, hell yeah, ready? Cuba, Cuba music. <laughs> or not. Come on, Muma kill, no. <laughs> oh, you were, you trying to there turn around go. and charge. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't quite make it. Now, and there's also new Na Nazgul, uh, Nazgul in this update as well. You have the, yeah. uh, the Nine, the Witch King, and also Cam Camille, I think. Camille. Is, yeah, yeah. Which is the uh, the one. He's who like was, the most powerful one, right? Yeah, he has like a big old mace and kicks ass. Yeah. Or is it the Witch King is the most. It's the Witch King is most powerful. But yeah, but he was fighting in the north alongside the Witch King, I think. Yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah, I'm sure sure people would ask know in the comments. Yeah. Uh-oh, you're about to kill my general. You've completely wrapped up my flank. Wasn't even paying attention. The trees were giving you cover. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was the cavalry It's all going, going to plan. God damn, that Mimikyu are just not dying. No, but you are winning that fight. And I think you got me beat. I mean, we'll have to see. Bounce power says other otherwise. Does it? Holy crap, it does. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, you've, you've smashed my infantry. Rohan aren't exactly known for their their quality when it comes to the ground fighting. And you've got me chatting, so my micro's been slacking. Uh, yeah. That's all part of the plan, baby. Uh, is, obviously, elephants are like designed in in these games to kill cavalry very effectively as well, and I think Baird in we got him down. But he's a true warrior. He'll be fighting and dying in this yeah. uh, this mosh that's, pit. That's the Rohan way. Yeah, exactly. To die. To die in battle. It's glorious. My ancestors are smiling down on me, Imperial. <laughs> Can you say the same? I actually never really played Skyrim much, so I can tell You're you. You're not missing anything. Yeah. Really? Uh, God damn, you boring. just probably <laughs> angered like every person in my comments. Yeah, well, it's boring, so it's all about that oblivion. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, ch I just never really uh, really got, got to grips with it. I played it for like a couple hours. I was super excited for it on launch and then just never really picked up again. It, yeah, yeah, it's just... You want to hear another I mean, hot take know. as well? Is yeah, I let's hear it. do not enjoy The Witcher 3 in the slightest. I thought the combat was really awful. Like, really? you're just rolling around. And, like, yeah, there's like, a lot of rolling. I was like, great. Well, you know, I'm a, a trained warrior and I'm just rolling. But again, well, maybe... I mean. Yeah, I mean, he's not. What is he? He's just going to sit there and take it? Oh, no, he's going to deflect and out swordsman ship someone, you know? He's a witcher. He's roll, agile. Roll, He's like roll. a cat. Yeah, which doesn't mean you just roll around people. Yeah. But this, it's it's very story driven. Yeah, and I, I guess it's, I guess it's like the same with Skyrim as well. Unless you like get into grips of the story. Like once you get into grips of the story, that's when it becomes, you know, game of the year and so on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I know Skyrim is supposed to be good and stuff everybody talks about skyrim but mm. i just think morrowind and oblivion is better i never played morrowind i played i played oblivion obviously love that classic rpg yeah i do not have much left wow this is close yeah i know <laughs> And, uh, like, I feel like it shouldn't be. Like, I, I feel like you should be destroying me right now. That's, I know. I know. Because, like, you've literally beat me in every cab battle. But my infantry, I guess, is just... Yeah, kicking ass. Mode. Don't worry. Bounce power's a little bit more even now. I think I'll... I'll yeah, I think you'll... You, since you have cab, you know. Cab is king. But Mimikyu is still fighting hard, though. Yeah, but they're far away. I need to get them. Well, Faedin's not gonna not gonna leave this. He's down to twenty eight men. So either the Mumi kill die or Faedin dies. Get back in the fight. 
Come on, Muma Kill. You want to become adult, Muma Kill? You must fight. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like Faden's gonna die, and that's gonna be it. I don't know. Or I'm just gonna send a horse to every all the capture points and win that. So technically, you, get, <laughs> you have an advantage because you're getting that morale bonus from all the capture points. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So that's you know, point. that's that's what it is right now. Okay. Well, that, you might be right. You might be right. But I'm I'm not gonna tell the viewers that. You know. This is all skill. Yeah, of course. You know. When they tell me I'm the greatest Total War player, I'm like, yeah, you're damn right I am. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's up? You're moving, the, you're moving the guard of the Golden Hall. Wait, 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 I can. I don't, never mind. If you're not doing it on purpose, then. I think they, they were chasing that routing unit, maybe. If I could just kill Theoden. Yeah, he's under 24 men, but as I said, he's he's committed there, you know? Come on, Mumu Kill. Use flaming shot. No! There you go, Dad. It was a flaming shot that did it. They were like, no! oh no. Help me, Anakin. I'm too weak. Oh, that frees up a lot more cavalry. Yeah. Theoden quickly. Rush. God damn, Bad oh. is up to 341 kills. Wow. Killed true. a lot of cab. Yeah, true man of the mark. What a hero. Oh! Yeah, Let's big, go. big break there. Come on, dang it. We're right. For Sauron. Whoa. How dare you. Oh, is that too far? Yeah, that is. Don't take his name in vain. Oh, it's not his name in vain. Oh, it is. Sauron. Sauron, help. It'd be so cool if they had added in, like, powers, like, in the Battle for Middle Earth. Oh, like yeah, abilities? Yeah. yeah, you just like pop that down and Sauron's eye just like hits. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Ah! Kill Theoden. We may lose the battle, but they will lose their king. Yeah, that is very true. Oh, wait, no, Theoden's kicking my ass. <laughs> that is <laughs> almost 400 kills. Jeez. Well, that was cool. Harad's infantry is very good. Yeah. Like, I... Still, even though you won the battle, I don't think I had any, um, you know, like I shouldn't, it shouldn't have been so close. Yeah. I mean, if you uh, take a look at probably your army roster at the end screen, it's going to be like just one of every unit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just much. two of every unit. So, hey, yeah. an admirable showing, that is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun though. Um, Harad is really cool faction. This update's really cool. I... I was ex I wasn't expecting the detail and just you know not only the detail but it's so fleshed out. There's so many different units. I mean, think about it. I mean, look at this army right here. At the most, there's two of one unit. You know, that's that's the insane part. Yeah, no, they they do it. They they're knocking it out of the park for sure with the uh, with the most recent updates. And I assume it, you know it's only going to get better and better. So I can't wait. Yeah, 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 for sure. So Jackie it was fun. A GG, you of beat course, me my friend. again. Hey, you'll get him next time, champ. I yes, there's always next time. But I let you win. I don't want to embarrass you and stuff. You know. You know. I do. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out the Rise of Mordor uh, official release this weekend. Check out their Discord. I, I'm pretty sure they uh, yes. they have loads of people on their Discord now hosting games. So if you're looking for people to play with, uh, you, you'll find someone there for sure. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, links down in the video description. Support Jackie Fish's Patreon. <laughs> I need it. I've got a puppy to look after <laughs> now, so please. No, but seriously, become a YouTube member for a Jackie Fish.
because I've got a puppy to look after now. So. He's got a puppy to look after. And I need to you buy... may have kids, but he's got a puppy. Yeah, and I need to dress it in Naruto clothing, and that stuff does not become cheap. Oh my god, dude, we need to talk about that when we're <laughs> done recording. Like, this anime stuff, dude, we gotta, we gotta stop. Well, her name is, uh, is from an anime, so... Oh god, what? And your girlfriend's okay with that? That's... Can't stop, won't stop. See you guys later. <laughs>